Hi, this is a PMZ Soccer Academy program, and today we're working on passing and, um, and uh, patterns of passes. Philippe, what's different about your academy? Well, the difference here is that uh, we are uh, player focused, more of on um, um, player development, and um, making sure that the kids are learning the correct technique. What's the real benefit for having the amount of girls you have out here? There's more than 30 girls out here. What, is, what does that allow you to do other than that other teams can? Um, numbers is always good. You can actually come up with uh, various um, training sequences and, uh, and then uh, more of the game-related situations. Um, rather than having small groups, you know, we can't really uh, do much with that. But yeah, that's the benefit of our pool player, big groups like that. Great, Philippe. Thank you very much. Still a new player, still starting out. He he took me, and he was really nice about it, and he showed me how to do things. He wasn't just yelling at me and and taking me and yelling at me in front of the whole group and telling me that I'm a bad player. He took me aside and he showed me how to do things so I would become a better player, and it's helped tremendously. Key thing is the basics with him, so you could get the right passing, the right techniques down, so you could build up to doing those you know, hard moves, those unique skills that all the professionals do. And he builds you up from the bottom to the top and it's really helpful. Awesome. So you've been playing competitive soccer since you began. Yeah. What are the differences about the academy here that you've noticed through your soccer career? Well, it's a lot more serious. Like we have a lot more practice, and it's just a lot more serious than my other teams. How would you compare the level of coaching you're getting now compared with the coaching you've had in the past? Oh, Philippe's coaching is just way above whatever. What a my old coach had coached. We just scrimmage and go home. <laughs> so, if you had to make one statement that kind of said what you like about his coaching, what would that be? I like how he's like really strict because it teaches you a lot about how to play right.
Come on. She's, she was very welcomed when she came and and she blended in with all the other girls. And and one of the things about the coach they have with with my daughters and Hannah's team is their coach is uh, really into developing the skills of all the players on his team and not just you know winning every single game and which which I'm all for too especially developing the skills so they can go on to a high school yeah, career too that's that's the goal that was one of our big big pluses for coming mm -hmm. great thank you gentlemen yeah. Good job, ladies. Probably from you. What is the difference in coaching here as compared to what you experienced before? The difference in here is it's much, much more organized and you don't mess around. Like you really get soccer done. And it's just like such a good experience to be in club. With that kind of pace. To up instead of hospital pass, go ahead. Stuff like that. Huh? Cruise for passes, get your angles right, support each other. Off we go. Come on. You know any of you bunching up right now? Come on. Play on. Play. There you go. One touch, yes. Catherine, move her, move it. Come on, Catherine. Yeah, right there. Yeah. There you go, good. With this, it's more, coach doesn't like to think of it as teams. He likes to think of it as all together in one club. And we're kind of, we're closer than when I played with other teams. You were never close to different teams on with Rio and Rush. Yeah, come on, stop it. Yeah. Yes. Faster, faster. Faster, yeah. On the other side, yeah. What are the differences that you see here? Um, coach oh, oh is a better coach than my other one. I'm actually learning something. <laughs> you guys met that I do it. Oh, yeah. haven't <laughs> with my old coach. Okay. Does it look right? He like makes sure that everyone's like developing. He doesn't just try and do it for like the benefit of the team. He actually tries to make you get better. So he works individually? Um, well, he just makes sure that, yes. Yes. 
So in general, have you girls seen your skill level improve in the time you've been here? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say? No, the other way. Go PMZ. All right. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> The wedgie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch right here. Jackie's wide open. Yeah, we are. There's a lot of us right here. Hi, Aspire. Hi. Um, I understand that you have a goal. Definitely. And what is that goal? I want to go pro in soccer. Okay, now you do? Yes. And so what kind of things are you doing to try to achieve that goal? I'm training every day. I'm going to the gym. I'm working on my body strength. I'm eating healthy foods and I'm practicing a few hours a day. Excellent. And so, how long have you been playing soccer? I'm going on my 14th year. 14th year. In that time, have you had good and bad coaches? Yes, definitely. So, since you've come to this academy, what are the things that you've noticed about this academy that you like? Um, very positive. Um, a lot of practice times and individual, like helping players out, whereas instead of other coaches, just talk to the team whereas Coach Philippe talks to the individual player. What do you think sets him apart as far as his background from other coaches? Um, he understands the game more so than other coaches because he's played it. Because some coaches, they, um, they teach the game, but they haven't necessarily played it. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I love soccer and I love Coach Philippe. You gonna say hi to your dad? Hi, Dad. Three. Hi, this is Philippe Mbalazambo again. I hope you enjoy watching what we um, our training session here, and I'm hoping to to uh, for you to bring some uh, some of your kids. The world sport, Philippe. Why why do they call soccer the world sport? It's the simplest uh, game. You know, you just need a ball and then you just kick it around. I got to be honest with you. Watching the training session, um, maybe the thoughts are simple, but the actions seem to take a lot of work and. A lot of the girls did mention that when they came to the academy, they were taught very carefully and very individually, even in a group setting. What do you think it is that makes you different as a coach? I believe the experience of playing uh, at a high level and myself being in an academy in France when I was young, um, um, just basically just the playing experience, you know. That's what probably makes the difference. I mean, there's a lot of good coaches out there. Probably not the experience that I had, but um, I think just playing make a plus. Great. And um, I noticed that you had quite a few girls out today. Is there a big difference between coaching girls and boys at this age? Um, the psychological aspect is very important, particularly with girls. Uh, they tend to um, be a little bit more emotional, but um, that's pretty much, you know, they, they Similar, similar athletes. Is there anything else you'd like to say? No. All right, well, thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to look inside your, your training today. You're very welcome, right. and we'll see you soon.